Hello, this tutorial will step through the process of creating an ADEPT user interface using Wonderware InTouch. To successfully complete this tutorial, you need to have ADEPT ACE 3.0 or higher installed on your PC with a valid OPC license. To create the interface, you need to have Wonderware InTouch installed. You also need to have an existing Wonderware InTouch application. OPC Link is required for configuring OPC communication between Adept Ace and Wonderware InTouch. In this tutorial, we will first talk about the process of exporting Adept Ace workspace data items to OPC. Then we will configure OPC Link to interface with InTouch and create tags to access the OPC variables. Next, we will embed symbols in the InTouch interface and link them to OPC tags. Finally, we will look at a working interface created in Wonderware InTouch for a dual Adept Quattro system. Let's find out how to export Adept Ace workspace variables to OPC. We will start with an overview of the OPC editor and then step through an example. You can export object properties and variables to OPC by clicking View and then Edit OPC or by clicking the OPC icon on the toolbar. First, you need to enable the OPC connection and set the update rate. You can export ADEPT smart controller related variables such as the power switch, monitor speed, and digital IOs. You can also export process related variables such as run status and statistics. You can export a variable by checking the expose checkbox. If you don't want an external application to modify the value of the variable, then check the read only checkbox. The tag name can be modified by simply highlighting and editing the field. Now let's go ahead and create a default workspace and export a couple of variables to OPC. Add a numeric variable by right clicking in the workspace explorer. Select new variable numeric variable and rename it to numeric. Set new value to 10 and press enter. Next, create a string variable by right-clicking again in the Workspace Explorer. Select New Variable String Variable and rename it to String. Set new value to This is a String and press Enter. Open the OPC Editor by clicking the OPC icon on the toolbar. Make sure that the OPC connection is enabled and set the update rate to 250 milliseconds. Double click on numeric and check the exposed checkbox. The tag name is set to current value. Since current value is a very generic tag name, let's edit the field. We can call it ace numeric. Double click on string and export the variable. Modify the tag name to ace string. Now that we have exported two variables to OPC, let's configure the OPC communications channel using OPC link. From the menu bar of OPC link, select configure topic definition and then click new. This will bring up the topic definition window where we can create a new OPC configuration file. In the topic name field, let's type tutorial underscore OPC underscore config. Next, we need to type in the IP address of the system that is running the OPC server. Then, let's select adept ace OPC OPC server from the OPC server drop-down list. Click OK and save the file.
So far, we have exported variables to OPC and created the OPC link configuration file. Now let's go ahead and create tags to access these OPC variables. We are going to use the OPC tag creator option, which is available under OPC in the tools section. Double click tag creator and select tutorial underscore OPC underscore config from the topics list. To create an access name for the topic, click create. From the browse OPC list, click string and then select ACE string. Click Create Tag and then click OK. Similarly, create the ACE numeric tag. Click Done to close the tag creator. So, we have successfully created tags to access ACE variables. Let's go ahead and link these tags to symbols. Right click Windows and then select New. Let's call the window ACE underscore OPC. Click Edit Embed Orchestra Graphic and embed a digital 1x10 display symbol. Now create another copy of the symbol and position it below the first one. Double click the first symbol. Click value and for the default field click browse and select the ACE string OPC tag. Click OK when done. Similarly for the second symbol let's select the ACE numeric OPC tag. Now we are ready to verify whether we can access the data in the ACE variables from the interface. Let's make sure that OPC link is running in the background. Then click Runtime on the top right hand corner of InTouch Window Maker. This opens up InTouch Window Viewer where you will be able to view your interface in real time. The value in the first display is, this is a string. If we go back and look at the value in the ace string variable, it appears to be the same. Also remember that we initialize the value of the ace numeric variable to 10. The value displayed in the second symbol is also 10. So, we have successfully created an in-touch interface to Adept Ace using OPC communication. Now that we have created a simple application, let's look at a working interface to a dual Adept Quattro system created using Wonderware InTouch. We hope this tutorial was helpful. For more information, please visit www.adept.com.